integrity, all good. Captain, do you require my assistance? About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. I spent months manipulating the Turan Preservation Society to hosting their gala affair aboard the Siren of the Stars. I had to arrange the event to make sure that the award was aboard the ship. Neva said she'd do the rest. When I got a message about Dubrovsky, I assumed she'd be tagging along to steal the award. But looks like, uh, she sent you in her place. Yeah? Funny you're only bringing that up now bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Merchant vessels, transport, supply convoys, mining settlements, you get the picture. But taking on a megacorp, that's a really big deal. Something the Crimson Fleet stayed away from in the past. Sounds to me like Delgado's either getting desperate, or this is leading to an even bigger score down the road. Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm gonna stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. I don't see a way around a little quid pro quo. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Of course I do. But who wants to settle for a one-time payout? I prefer to play the long game. You see, getting my ass back into the fleet means I regain access to Shinya Boss. And that's as good as an endless stream of credits.
That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Looks like we got a party to crash. And I left my tux and tails in my other ship. The event's a complete sham. Bunch of rich snobs getting together and throwing a party for themselves. These people couldn't give a damn about Tehran Preservation or any other charity for that matter. <laughs> yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. He's a VIP executive, which means he either worked really, really hard using blood, sweat, and tears to make the arduous climb to the top, or he backstabbed, lied, cheated, and betrayed his way up the corporate ladder from what I've heard. It's the second option. Well, you better learn quick. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? I want to leave a strip down the UC security ship and uh, sell the parts back to the UC through a shell company. If that doesn't put your concerns to rest, I don't know what will. Now tell me, what about the status of your plan? How can I help? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. They claim their goal is to celebrate the soul of the Earth, the culture, the people, and the ideals of the past. In their minds, Earth is now dead, which is why they feel that preservation of its remaining aspects is so important. In reality, this is what happens when folks with far too much time and far too much money get together to make themselves feel like they're contributing to society. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, 
I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Well, the Earth Savior Award is one of a kind. The Blue Diamonds alone are irreplaceable. Since we can't produce a new award every year, it's instead passed from one recipient to the next. I supervise the transfer and make certain that there's ample security during transport and at the destination. In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. If you wish to have a drink at any of our lounges, be sure to present your cabin pass to have the cost deducted from your account. Could you pester someone else, please? I have too much on my plate to waste time talking to you. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Pleased to make your acquaintance. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. Positively horrid. Hello. Are you a member of the society? In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly They got fashion. any dirt on the Borski yet? Get back to it. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. If you have any needs, please enter a request into the computer located at the entryway to your cabin. So, what brings you aboard? Here for business or pleasure? His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. The Society was founded about eight years ago by Carl S. A. Worthington, a prominent businessman from New Atlantis. Even if I was offered the award, I wouldn't take it. Can you imagine the security nightmare I'd have to deal with? No, thank you. Nice to have met you. That view is absolutely spectacular. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. I heard it's fitted with 12 internally flawless two-carat blue diamonds. Can you believe that? Hmm. Well, that was boring. The society... Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. It's a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state, but I'm glad the Society has the nerve to do something about it. 
Well, apparently the award is so valuable, there's only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. Don't forget to donate to the cause. So what brings you aboard? Hello, are you a member of the society? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. The Society is such a worthy cause. What could be more important than the preservation of the Earth's spirit? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. Enjoy the rest of the event. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Donations to the Society can be debited from my bank account on a monthly basis. I barely have to lift a finger to help. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. That's all then? Okay. Here for business or pleasure? An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. I'm a silver member of the society, but only a hundred thousand more credits and I hit the gold tier. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. <laughs> well, that was boring. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Mm, he's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time. Enjoy the rest of the event. Sorry, do I know you? Look, I think you're definitely confused here. I really don't have time to have a discussion with you. My partner's waiting for me. He's a very important man. His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy?
You're not very bright, are you? I'm a grade C3 exec at Galbang. That means my credentials get me into two places. The front door, and the ladies' room. If that's all you really want, you're certainly welcome to them. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Giving you the dirt on him will only make things worse. That's true. You have come this far already. Are you kidding? The fact that we're even speaking tells me I'm already dead in the water. You know what? Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. You know, if I had a credit for every time I heard a criminal say I had the perfect scheme all worked out, I'd be a damn millionaire. Yeah, well, it was perfect. Foolproof. Until I trusted that asshole. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the creds are clean. So on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered, when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? What, are you ready to damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any gal bank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. What do you think is going on? I'm using that gullible idiot to get what I want. If I have to squash him on my way to the top, then so be it. Let's get one thing straight. Larry Dombrowski's no saint. He deserves everything that's coming to him. I mean, we're not here for that, but if you need a little judging, 
I can make the time. It doesn't matter if you're here to judge me or not, because there's nothing to judge. Dombrowski is a piece of human garbage. He'd stab you in the back for table scraps, then stab you again to steal dessert. The plan's always been to milk the guy for everything he's worth, and then leave him in the dust. Not bad for a lowly Galbank worker drone, right? I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? An excellent question. My responsibilities include all of the Siren's financial, customs, and commercial goods transfers. Honestly, I really enjoy the work. I get to meet people at every port of call instead of being constantly stuck below decks. Oh, absolutely! The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage-resistant, vacuum-proof plating. In an unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. The safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. We can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. I'm sorry. It's against Trident policy to discuss our personal feelings towards a fellow crewmate. You do? Hmm. All right, but you didn't hear this from me. Do you understand? I don't want to lose my job. I like Captain Rokov. But I think he's mixed up with some very dangerous people. I was bringing some paperwork to his quarters one day, and I found a slate with a message he received from someone named Delgado. That would normally be fine, but the message mentions the Crimson Fleet as in pirates. Can you believe it? If you want to grab it, the slate should still be in his quarters somewhere. Have a safe journey. An open bar would have been nice. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Not at all. I was assured that this particular ship was outfitted with the absolute latest in cutting-edge security. I am completely confident that Trident Luxury Lines will keep all of us safe. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? I hear you. A 
I'm still willing to talk. I mean, it might be okay. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? You look a bit lost in these surroundings. Hello. You here for the charity event? Well, I work for UC Security, meaning that business isn't exactly my area of expertise. I'm afraid I can't really help you. If you're looking for a business opportunity, you might want to check with someone else. You mean specifically? Oh, I work for the Corporate Fraud Division. We monitor all of the major megacorp financials and transactions to ensure that nothing improper occurs. You're asking a lot of strange questions. What exactly do you want? Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Really? Well done. You almost sounded believable. Almost. Don't test me. You have no idea how high up the chain I am with UC security. Not only can I make you disappear, I can also make sure the settled systems Forget you existed in the first place. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the I society, sold you eh? little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that imbecile's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. I was just about to say that with the compensators and all the other stuff. Now you clearly got this. I have no idea what all of that technical jargon meant, but it caused enough confusion and it will buy us plenty of time. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start packing. 
Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had hell. On the surface, he's an upstanding citizen of the United Colonies, pretty high up in UC security. Lots of clout with mast. Underneath is a greedy piece of garbage. Given the chance he'd backstab you for a cred stick and bid the murder on someone else. Come to think of it, if he wasn't such a petty tyrant, he'd probably thrive with the Crimson Fleet. There's access to the crew section that you can reach through the uh, Starview Bowl. Chief Sundin should be there, wasting time at his station as usual. Have fun with that guy, he's a, a real piece of work. Once you're past Sundin, just look for the room marked, Environmental Control. Everything you need is inside. All passengers are instructed to immediately report to their cabins. That way, we keep the halls clear and avoid a panic. Fortunately for us, all of the passenger cabin doors will automatically unlock. This is normally to ensure the crew can check cabins quickly and without interference. But in our case, it's like having an all-access pass. Don't you have somewhere to be? At least this uh, looks hey, like uh, a uh, ship. Hold up. This area well, is I wouldn't be surprised if they had maids do the rounds here. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner-class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong, the quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that, but... I'd rather work on the bridge. I'm the Siren's chief engineer. Trident put me in charge of the entire tech team. We do our best to keep the ship running smoothly and efficiently. Of course, this beauty is a cutting-edge piece of spacecraft design. Almost everything has triple redundancy, like the life support system. Unfortunately, that means there's quite a bit of downtime. Could be worse, though, right? Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Honestly, he's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he was a long hauler for years and the experience shows. Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for get-rich-quick schemes. If all the guy ever thinks about why he decided to be a Starliner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Tell you what, though, for someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind gambling them when we play cards. Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be out of a job.
Please declare your case. ship it's your line thing. emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. All passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. Yeah, wow. If people I was wondering if you were the cause of the ship-wide emergency. Revolution. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You want me to help you? Please. Are you the completely out of your mind? I help you by handing over evidence, and I end up incriminating myself. Why would I do that? Until you receive further instructions. I don't know where you got that information from, but it lines up with all the troubles I've been having getting my cut from that asshole. That means my money's already gone, and Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry, but if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can, well, let's just All say, take care of the problem. That's please. if you leave the him alive, of course. We'll just have emergency. to wait and see. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion. Wait a moment. Are you telling me that this scheme is getting so out of hand, it also involves the Crimson Fleet? <sighs> That's all I need right now. Enemies on two fronts. Just because I'm helping you nail Dombrowski doesn't mean I'm turning my back on UC security. How else am I going to ensure that he ends up behind bars when all this comes crashing down? No, you can leave me out of your merry little band of pirates, thank you very much. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. chances with the passengers' goodies. Not that I blame them.
Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye. I'm uncertain why you've become entangled in this spider's web, but this situation demands swift and resolute action. You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye view of the situation, do you? I'm uncertain why you've become entangled in this spider's web, but this situation demands swift and resolute action. All passengers. Excellent. May Excellent. I have your attention, so, please? Before we begin, the let's review the facts. Emergency. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Gal Bank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. You may as well ask, is it necessary for the sun to set on Jemison or for one to wear a pressure suit when entering the vacuum of space? I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. <laughs> though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? You know, when my number gets called up, all I hope I handle it like this guy. May I have I'm impressed, really. Please. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Oh, it was actually a rather easy deduction to make. It's the only thing of significant value that I still have in my possession. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? I usually have a nose for these things, but in your case, it's a mystery. Very frustrating. Whatever the case may be, it's apparently worth risking your life over. That's telling me it involves a, a lot of money. That also means I want in. Crick's his legacy. Are you serious? I heard Delgado spinning that yarn. 
But I thought it was more of a hobby with him. Have things really gotten that desperate? Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for combat. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you. And capitalism. Hello, welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Oh, uh, no. No, this is just their deep storage facility. All the current records are upstairs in the main facility. This is where, uh, where they put the older data onto long-term servers. Oh, no, none at all. I'm all alone down here. Yeah, yep, completely by myself. Well, I, I guess you're down here too, right? So <laughs> that's two of us now. Sorry, not trying to lie to you or anything, just, uh... Yeah. Just one moment while I verify. 
Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. Got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. Get your blood pumping, huh? to be in my way.
Good day, Captain. I've got an idea for a job. But we'll need the smoking. The captain of the Jade Swamp. I like my weapons like I like my coffee. Scalding. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. You can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Whoa. EM class is an absolute no go. There ain't a ship alive that can handle that. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. The Rook's right. We tackle one problem at a time. Can we track it, Neva? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the Com Spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comp spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comp spike with Jazz. And I'll point us in the right direction. I promise. You're gonna write that in your diary, little girl? All right, that is enough. 
We are in arm's reach of Grix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work! All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Fleet first. Never forget it. I hope you're not. If you've got time to stand around, you've got time to do a job. We may not have official security on the key, but we are always looking out for traitors. Stay under the radar. I've got just the thing. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or I'm not going to be very disappointed. First of all, this is my section of the key, so I'm going to stand here for as long as I want. And second of all, I know all about that award and your deal with Neva. We don't keep secrets between us. Just throttle down and give her the damn thing already so we can get to work. Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. You see, everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. Now, you might want to hand over that award before I have you tossed off the key. Just a thought. You couldn't find it. Wow, Ruck. Just... wow. You had one simple task. Bring me the award. That's it. It's so easy. I could have gotten Jazz's Model A to do the work. Well, congratulations. Not only did you miss out on the award cash, you're also going to take a hit from your regular pay. That's how things work around here, so you better get used to it. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. All right, Jazz.